So this past September, we all headed down to Patagonia, Chile. Our mission on this trip was to ski lines into the center of the crater on the Pujaya volcano. We flew there, it took us like 30 hours and met up with our guides, Jorge and Nico, and, uh, and then we headed up to the base of the volcano, and that's kind of where we were basing out of. The first day was actually totally blue, and then it proceeded to rain for like five days. A few days into it, the weather got a bit better, so we were able to load up all our gear on, on horseback. I'm not supposed to get on horses with ski boots, but these are touring boots, they're different. Yeah. Who needs a 4x4 four four when you got a horse? So we're about halfway up to the, uh, the first base camp. We try and make it as high as we can uh, before we hit the snow. He was mentioned he, the, the volcano erupted in 1960 and they have to evacuate all his family for geological time that's like seconds. Is, is the volcano going to erupt on us while we're up there? <laughs> <laughs> Most epic trip ever. Unreal. So, we've just finished getting off our horses after uh, climbing for like two hours. Managed to get us all the way up to the cabin. We're like right at the base of the volcano right now. Cheers. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. We're heading up to the volcano. weather just continued to get worse as the day went on and by the time we reached the summit it was pretty much complete whiteout, windstorm, snowing. And we're pretty shattered, we're like holy cow this is this is a huge, huge mission, like I think it took us almost four hours. We were able to make our way back down to the, down to the cabin, skiing by braille. So we spent like three days up in the refugio just waiting out weather, we were actually totally socked in, in the fog up there. We got the forecast and the forecast was just like, it sounded horrible. And then all of a sudden, we wake up to our guy Nico saying, I don't want to disturb you, but the crater is open. Everyone was just like, what? Like it was, everyone was still half asleep. I personally thought the crater was erupting, which was slightly terrifying. Finally, we figured out what he was telling us. Um, we looked outside and yeah, it was perfectly clear. Next thing you know, we've got our skins on and we're making our way up in the dark. I think it was about two hours of touring. We got to the top and the first sight that you come over with is these Alaska style spines. And to see that where we were going to go ski was like a dream come true. Just had 360 degrees of like super steep rad terrain. basically just touring around the rim up there. All of us would drop into our lines and we'd all end up in the center in the same spot again and it was just a, a really cool way to be able to ski around together. A 
volcano crater. I can't say I've ever done this before. I mean, look at it. It's the coolest thing I've ever done for sure. expected it we ended up having two epic days up there skiing inside of what is probably the most unique feature I've ever skied in. Things really could not have gone any better. When you're having to climb up and do it all under your own power it's a big effort but uh, it's a much more complete experience than you know our typical trips of just waiting out the storm at the bottom of the mountain and then getting in a helicopter and flying around. And... One of the coolest experiences I've ever had. On the next episode of Solomon Free Ski TV. It's time for a little history lesson, folks. Come on!